Huh. So I can't, I don't, I can't video with it now without going and doing this whole thing all over again. I guess I'll just turn it on and hope it's good. Anyway. <laughs> okay, it says, it says we're live. And there we are. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. I see Lindy is here and Marilyn is here. Good morning. Today is a little frustrating. <laughs> We're having some <laughs> technical issues as usual, but um, we're glad you're here and I'm glad you're here, Shell, because I'm we're working on the September mood board. Yes, September mood board from Heart Joy of Sharing. So it's all about I, fall, people. Make it I go Cindy. away. Yeah, if you guys know about our Facebook group, we put a mood board in there each month. And this is the mood board for September. And <laughs> Shell's not feeling it because it's not fall in Arizona yet. Um, it's fall in Iowa. <laughs> Yeah, I did see some people posting different uh, pictures of things starting to change in their area. I did see that. Hi, Diane. Hi, Daisy. Yes, indeed. So because of the colors and things in here, um, I don't know. I've been playing around with these uh, color boards. I was uh, inspired by a number of different people that were on uh, YouTube that were doing these color inspiration things. And um, Gina was one of them and she has a lovely one. But so I started a book with color and I'm going to get my color things out. And yesterday I was playing with the color box pigment inks because they're going out of business. And I thought, well, why am I not painting with color box pigment inks? So I, I put those down for uh, this particular one. But today we are focusing on the fall mood board. Yeah, fall colors. So I pulled out some papers. This is a, a piece of magazine, which uh, I did put this all on because it looks a lot like this. Um, this one has those uh, tones and things in it. Some tissue paper, some other printed papers, and this piece. And I don't know where I'm going to go with that, but they were all inspired by the mood board. And then I pulled out a whole bunch of colors of paint. And you can see what I did is I swatched them here and put the color beside them. And whether it was Dina Wakely or Deco Art or Golden, so that I knew what those were. Hey, Holly. Hi, Becky. Hey, Vicki and Janice and Shelly. So glad you're here. Well, the color that I liked the most off the mood board today, being that I'm not into fall, is that kind of Tiffany blue color. That's what I call it. It's kind of a light teal or something. And this inexpensive paint from Hobby Lobby called Master's Touch has a color called Ocean Green. And I had seen another artist, Mary Beth Shaw, using this color on her live stream. And I said, I need that color. So I actually went to the store, which is shocking because I rarely go to, this, to any store <laughs> except for the grocery store. And I bought the paint. So... I want that paint definitely to, to be prominent in my project. And I'm going to do an art journal page inspired by the mood board today um, on top of a gel print in my gel print journal. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm, I've got an idea. And I'm going to start with uh, some of this paint on this spongy brayer. Just getting some of that color in there because I want to make sure 
that that color is prominent. And I started with some gold gesso for my background. And I'm just going to start doing some papers to get me going. I've got some collage page matte. This is a Aileen's product that I happen to like. It's from Tracy Batista. And I'll get a tool here to spread. These are just those silicone tools. I think I got these from um, Hobby Lobby. And putting this tissue paper down in the background. Get some texture going here first. So, what have you guys been up to this week? Tell me what's going on in your lives. Thank you, Vicki. She says, never too soon for thumbs up. And you're absolutely right. Yep. We love our thumbs up. We love you guys. You guys are here with us. Makes our day. Makes us happy. Well, what happened to the other half of that? I'm trying to make a mask. Because I need to mask out the bottom part of this, and I was going to use both sides of the paper, and I cut it, and then it just disappeared. Well, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> happens to me a lot. A lot more than I want to admit, you know? You know, it's weird when things just, yeah. It can't have gotten far, right? But it did. It's just gone. Well, I can do it again. Oh, what did I do with this? Okay. I put this on something. I'll be right back. I'm going to make a copy. <laughs> uh, okay. Now I've got two pieces. So I can use this part to mask the bottom. And then I can use this part to, to uh, mask the, yeah. That's still going. See, this is driving me crazy. Yeah, I guess it is. All right. Okay, so I put some of that Tiffany blue down here. I didn't completely cover up the pattern because I like having interesting patterns in my background. But I also want to have a bit of a area down here. Pretty sure the job of cutting this. Like that. It's going to be my horizon line, so to speak. And I'm going to put this stencil over here and add some, like some tree-ish stuff in the background because it's fall, right? That's what they keep telling me. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what they keep telling me too. It's a lie, straight up lie. <laughs> it's not fall. So this this one just has just a lot of embrace work. it, shall embrace it. <laughs> no, you can go away. Oop. I think I got enough there. I did make some pumpkin streusel muffins, so I guess. Ooh, that sounds good. Streusel muffins. It must be Paul. One of my children, my youngest one, his birthday is in October. And his favorite thing to have for his birthday is a cake at all. He likes pie. He likes pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah. I'm so a pie girl. It starts to be, you know, when I start thinking about, oh, I'm going to have to make pumpkin stuff, then I guess that means that it's fall, right? Yeah. Well, so I did make the muffins, and I took them down to the infusion center, and the patients seemed to really like them. So. Oh, that's nice. I got some pumpkin because I was going to make some pumpkin chaffles. Oh, yes. Last night I experimented and I made some with, I've got those um, Lindy dark chocolate chips, you know, that are. <laughs> sugar free. Yeah, sugar free and supposed to be better for me than, but I was, I was in the mood for something, you know, dessert like sweet. And it's like, oh, what am I going to have? I can't have that, and I can't have that. And it's like, oh, 
I've got some chocolate chips in the freezer. So I made a chaffle with cocoa and coconut flour and yeah. That sounds delicious. Chocolate chips chocolate and nuts. Forgot to put the art guard on. I'm getting paint all over myself and I didn't put it on. Okay. I'm going to put it on now. <laughs> They're talking about crafting injuries. Yeah. It's a thing. You really it's a is. Thing. Yeah. Well, I don't even need I was opening yogurt yesterday. I have a yogurt injury. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. The plastic on the top of the yogurt container got my thumb. Wow. Who knew, right? Who knew that would happen? Not me. So I also got out some fall colors. Of paint, and now I'm just going to put them on my palette. And I'm going to make some fall looking leaves. Because if there's one thing I do like, it's leaves in the fall. I like leaves just about any time. Leaves and flowers. You yeah. Know, I'm a flora and fauna type girl. Yeah, I'm down with that. I think it's it's good good stuff. I can't tell you where this stencil came from because I have no idea. North New Hampshire, White Mountains. Oh, on Monday, spring on Tuesday. I know. Well, yesterday was really strange here. It was in the 80s. The air conditioning kicked in. And then it, you know, dropped down in the 50s and 60s. I, I don't get it. Yeah, no, thanks. Don't want trade states, Vicki. <laughs> I know where you are. You are not going to get me in that hot state. It's nice here. I don't know what you're talking about. No, she's in Texas. Well, it's, it's hotter in, in Arizona than it is in Texas. Just saying. Yeah, but you're not growing plants. You're not green. You're not, you know. True. Well, we do have farms over in Marana. There are farms here. My tomatoes aren't doing so good, though. <laughs> I just harvested a big bag of tomatoes. <laughs> My tomatoes are like, what the hell are you talking about, people? It's too hot here. <laughs> We're not so growing. I'm looking at some of that twiggy looking stuff. If you see here in the in the background, there's some twiggy looking stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to pull out some of these stencils that have that going on. Well, I put these things first, that, and then I'm putting the leaves over the top. I think I'm gonna. You know, I don't think we welcomed everyone. Hi, Becky, Cindy, Vicki, Holly, uh, Marilyn. Becky's here, or Barbara's here. Hi, Barb. Hi, Barbara. I don't know, Holly. Did I say Holly? Sybil just got in here, I think. Yep. Cindy, Vicki, Becky. I think so, I got it. let's see. I need to mix some color. In case, if uh, I miss you, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I've got this. See these light colors up here? This titanium buff. This I, this is one of those god awful Jane Davenport 
things. You guys have this happen with you where it splits right out the side of the tube. Ugh. This, these tubes are just awful. I like the color. I really like the color. I just don't like what it does. So I don't know. Yeah, there is. I'm going to get some out of that tube because I'm going to have to tape this one up. But then I tried, you know, just taking some Master's Touch and some other colors and mixing some. You can do that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this one because that's how I'm going to roll with it. And I need a sponge because I want to get some of that texture going on in here that I'm seeing in the background. And I want to lighten this up. You know, I go dark, I go light. So. Get that worked into my sponge. Get some of that good old texture on there. Put another layer, you know, I'm all about the layers, pushing that other stuff back into the background. I didn't get out any like yellow color. Hmm. I'm thinking no yellow color. Yellow is good. Naples? This greeny color is kind of yellowy, but it's the smallest one. Let's see what this is looking like. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna hit that. Uh, let's do this other stencil down here. Another one by the same designer, but a little bit different. Should have put some pixie spray on that. Mm. Oh, well. So that kind of mimics, you know, those um, twiggy things that are in the... I'm being inspired by the twiggy things in those pictures. To get this going on. And then, you know, I've got a light. Now I think I want to go to the darker side. So I'm going to get this <laughs> burnt sienna. She's going to the dark side, people. Going to the darker side now. Get the burnt sienna out. As Shell would say, brown. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Barbara. All right. For the Hot, hotter, hottest than two days for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you have Christmas. That's pretty much what we have too. There's just there's just not much in the way of variation, but there's um there's a definite change of the light. If you're if you're very tuned into how the light feels, how the sun feels when when it turns to fall here, there's the the reflections are just different. Yeah. Okay, that's not as dramatic as I hoped. Mm. Gonna grab one more. Which one do I want? Let's do let's do this one. This kind of looks like pathways. You know, I, I see the feet and the shoes and stuff in this picture, and I think pathways. So let's do this. It kind of looks like pathways. Hmm. Definitely not what I was expecting. 
don't like it. So I'm inspired by the tennies. And you see what I'm doing is I'm I'm anchoring things across the page, getting opposition, push and pull going on here. And I'm liking that. So where do I want to go from there? I need to dry it down a little bit. Like your leaves, Shell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stirring is a good idea. Hello, Amy. All right, I have this color called Ancient, which is a bronze color. And I'm going to try that instead of the white, because the white just isn't doing it for me. It's just not dramatic enough. Right. And I think that's where I'm headed with this. Um, I, I had an idea earlier, and I'm not sure, you know, I may not be able to take this page very far today if I go that direction. But if you guys want to see it, you can sing out and tell me, should I do it or should I not? I have, I have these microbeads that I've had forever. And they're different beads that I've, you know, these are ones that I've mixed up, you know, where I take different beads and I put them together in a bag and, and make my own color combos. Like here's a, this is just a straight gold bead. And then I've got some of those in that other one that's got the orangey tones. But, you know, when I was looking at this and I saw these leaves, okay, that's what I might do is I might use some of those on something separate that I end up putting on the page. Yeah, because see, you can see the texture in these, and I thought the beads would give it that texture. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is some more stenciling on here. And I've got this. I'm going to take some uh, clean spray for the dark because now we're now we're going really dark, and I just need a small brush for that. So I'm going to grab one of these makeup brushes and get my paint spray out here. Got kind of a mess going on. Work that into my brush. This is a Deco Art Media. Thing. I'm just going to work that in and get some of that dark. Let's see what that's looking like. Oh, yeah. It's giving me those branchy, branchy dark places. Holy sponge wet. Hello, Marie. Cindy says, yes, Meg. What's that? 
Cindy says beads. Yes. Bert B. Jess. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm thinking now that I'm going to do it on something separate and then glue it on later because, you know, this is an hour and a half show. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. 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 Beads are going to take a while to dry. Although I could think about that a minute and maybe do something that isn't going to take long to dry. Okay. So I'm really liking those branchy things on here. Um, getting that, you know, we're getting that feel from the picture here of the branchiness. I think just a few up here at the top. Yeah, I like that a lot. So now what I want to do is before I go to the beads. So I've got this stencil, which is uh, from Sutherland S144. It's, it's a lot of leaves. And I want to put some put some texture paste down here I think so let's see what I've got here's some light molding paste let's do that shall we okay hi Ela Barb says she likes that shell yes thank you so yeah, light molding paste. Get some leaf texture going here. Not everywhere, but get some on here. Sometimes it's fun to just use the middle of the stencil and not the whole thing, just to make texture and line and pattern. Like these leaves have just these little, uh, I don't know what you call it, the middles of the leaves, the veins, that's what they're called, veins. Just to fill in, I think it's getting pretty full back there now. I definitely need a line of demarcation right here. I want to make this part separate from the other parts. I do that. Okay, do that knife. There we go. Got enough here to Do some more with not waste it. I've got some alcohol ink on here, which is blending with that texture paste, and I don't mind that because it gives it some color. Mm -hmm. I'm not so much into white texture paste. Who is? But I'm liking the leaf design that that's leaving. I might end up using a piece of that on there somewhere. Who knows? Who knows which way the wind will blow me? And do a little clean up before it sets up like iron. Papa. All right, I have a couple things that I drew this morning while we were talking earlier. And I'm going to be, these are going to be for my collage. 
collage because really I couldn't be a shelfy page if it didn't have collage on it. I think that might be a rule, people. I need a box. I've got a plastic box on my supplies because that's the first thing I laid my hands on. I've got uh, I've got this on here, and I'm thinking, why not put some of those beads on here? Let's let's try the gold ones on here while it's still wet. Oh, those are pretty. Smack it. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, see the, the gold? I don't know if you guys can really see that, but that's pretty cool. So I'll set that aside to dry. I might use a piece of that. It's all about building components, right? Oh, and then mm -hmm. I put that right down. Put it right down on my wet. Oh, what did I do? Page. Oh. I'll dump the rest of this back in the bag. I'll try to. <laughs> That's all wrong. Okay. So. That's kind of cool. What else do I want to do here? I want to dry this off. I wonder if, wonder if I can do that with the page itself. Why not? Let's try it. Let's get my box back out. Or a box. Mm. Don't really want one that big, but when all else fails, use the big one. So let's use those other. Close that before I dump beads in it. I'll choose these other ones and see what they look like. is too wet. A little something there. Not not exactly what I was looking for, but there's a little something there. It's all about the play. Yep. Just gotta wing it. All right, where's a brush? Brush on the edge. I think I'm going to collage these little pieces on. So the thing that uh, does definitely happen, even though it's not cold here, I drink tea when it turns to fall. 
Yeah. I generally drink water, a lot of ice water, because I'm always dehydrated and I always want to drink water, but it just when it starts to turn fall, even though it's not cold, I still have to have that cup of tea in the morning. So I figured that that is what I would put in it. Here in this little uh, picture right here, there's a cup of probably coffee, but I drink milk in my tea, so it kind of looks like that. So that inspired me to make a tea page because I don't drink coffee very often. Occasionally I have a cup of coffee, but it's not an everyday thing by any means. So that's why I drew this little teacup and teapot. Like it's like you're going outside in the morning and sitting out on the deck, and the leaves are falling, and you're um, drinking your warm beverage. On the deck, as the leaves are falling, I can imagine it. You can't experience it here, but I can imagine. <laughs> Stop putting bubbles. Where are you having bubbles? Because I didn't put you on both sides. That's why. Well, I don't care. Stop doing this. Hang on a few times. I want a proof. I'm going to get some Quin Gold and mix it up. Can't go wrong with Quin Gold. With some water, because I want to change out this corner a bit. So where's my spray bottle? There we go. Get that texture oh. that we just created to show up. And there it is. And now I need my towel. gray to go a little bit deeper darker after all it is fall back and forth a brush here situations. 
time. Put it too close to the edge. There, it stood on the edge and it stood and looked down. You know, we lost a lot of friends there, baby. You got no time to mess around. Clean, uh, wrinkly, but it will have to do. Hmm. Holly, I am from Oregon originally. I grew up in Oregon. I do recall what it looked like in the fall. Back in the day. I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. But it is true. I was once an Oregonian. I think I'm going to use a stencil to cut out. Well, I don't know. That's probably silly, but... I don't know. I should probably just free form. I don't need the stencil. Why? Well, I don't know. Hey, there's Josie. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm kind of liking those little uh, gold beads in the background. They give it just, I don't know if you guys can really pick up on that, just a little bit of that textural element that I find interesting. And this almost looks like a road map down here. And I'm liking where it's going. Cool. Uh, but now I need to soften this a bit. So that means we go back to lighter color again. We're saying again? Yes, again. So I've got some tight and buff. This is a this is a Titan buff. Um, this one says golden. This one that I have here is a DecoArt Media Titan buff because it's more fluid. And I still want to see some of what's going on here in the background. So let me rinse my brushes. Oh, uh, this is going to be good. Yes, yes. And grab another. Alcohol. I want water. Where's my water? Here we go. I want water. Just to water that down a little bit. Oh, maybe just stick with the same shape. The same maple leaf shape. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Anchor it on both sides here. And get my spray. And then get a sponge to soften. Okay.
Wow, you're really doing some major remodeling. <laughs> I'm listening, listening to, uh, listening. I'm, I'm reading the chat about moving one room into another room. Wow. I'm going to have to go find the video on that one because that sounds interesting. I've been watching a lot of construction type videos. I get I get hooked on certain things with YouTube. Um, I like some of the travel stuff on YouTube. So, you know, it's, a, it's hard to pick my favorite stuff to watch. That was something. Okay, let's see what's going on with this piece. Still pretty wet. I don't know. Don't know about all that. I should find. Let's see what our edging is looking like. Let's see if I ran over into it. If I kept it clean. Oh, that's probably enough of that for now. Let's get some stuff going here. All right. I want to decorate this. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to draw. And draw in the details. Or do I want to paint? What do I want to do? I don't know. I know. I got my background pretty much there. And I'm looking at it. I want to pull the stuff off of the what was the really wet medium and clean up my space a little bit here. Because now I'm thinking... Thinking, thinking. Thinking, thinking. Oh, it looks like Marie had to go. Bye, Marie. Warming some soup for lunch. Yeah. I haven't had breakfast yet. I think I need to do that first. Quinacridone. Need some quinacridone. Have it here somewhere. Yeah, that's pretty good. Here it is. Decor premium. Just a tiny little bit, please. Don't come out like a crazy fountain like you did yesterday. That's that, um, what do you call it? Molding paste is still kind of damp there on the corner, so it wants to peel. You wouldn't normally do this. You'd, I, I normally would let this set overnight and come back. But, you know, we got an hour and a half. Yeah, can't really uh, set things aside to dry here. So, okay. So I'm pretty happy with that from my background. I got some overflow there, like I said. I don't know if I can. It's still wet. The corner is still wet. Oh, maybe I'll touch it up later. Okay. So... 
I've got these leaves that I did the other day. I could do I could do something with some you know textural elements with leaves or something on here. Um I don't like that so much. I like the blue. Um, hey, Jamie, good to see you. <laughs> you rock, girl. Okay. So, yeah, I'm kind of liking these, but I think they need, if I'm going to put them on there, they need some more texture on them. Just saying, we need some texture, which we can do real easily with some stamps or something. So, let me get a, I've got a watering can which is softer than a black. Don't really need black here. We just need some texture. And this is a this is a stamp from I think Andy Skinner. Speaking of which, let's put some texture in the background of this. Right. Let's add some script in here. Like that. And what else have I got? My bag of tricks that I really think needs to go on here. I don't know. A good question. One only you can answer. Yeah, that's probably enough of that. Let's see. I need something. Something, something. Temperatures below 90 by eating soup. Yeah, good luck with that one. Yeah, I made some clam chowder. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Guess I was hungry for clam chowder. That must have been the reason. That's very fallish, right? Chowder. Yeah, I've been making soup too. I made some uh, black bean chili and I made some Ooh. summer corn and zucchini soup the other day. But it's more it's more about uh, what can, what people around here can eat. So yeah, yeah, I hear you on that one. I mean, that's why we have such a varied diet. They sent Ron some protein shakes, and I've been trying to figure out what to do with them. Because just drinking them straight kind of still upsets his stomach. So I thought, well, maybe I can mix them in some pudding or maybe I can, uh, I don't know. I, I got some stuff to make a more of a smoothie out of it so it's not so thick. We'll see. Hmm, what do I want? To I remember you were drinking those things when I was sick, and it's like, yuck. Yuck. Very <laughs> yuck. I agree. Well, yuck. Not my favorite thing. I'm no. you. I need to get rid of that big bunch of purple in the middle of this. Not really any purple in this composition. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be just very abstract, I think.
Sorry, guys, I had to mute. My husband just walked in. Didn't mean to leave you. And is Shell frozen? What happened to Shell? Oh, my goodness. Ugh. All right. I don't know where what happened with hers. Sorry. So we're just having all kinds of trouble here. Hope she can get back in. Yeah, it's just like it froze. I'll watch for her to come back. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, no, I did not. I did not. Hey, Vicki Ross. Let me see if she's even getting messages. We'll see. Some days, you know, some days. I don't know. I mean, I, I muted for a minute, but I sure didn't kick her out of there. I don't know. Craziness. <sighs> the joys of being live, right? Okay, so I'm thinking I would like some gold leafing on here. There she is. Okay. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Well, all of a sudden we weren't there anymore. I looked up and you were gone. Like, <laughs> I tell you, technology at its best, right? Yeah, I don't even have any idea what happens. I don't know. Very strange. Yeah. sure what I want to do with that but I think it calls for some kind of oh I like the copper I like the copper on there copper is a good color for fall yeah Oh, you got to let this stuff dry for an hour. Mm, maybe not an hour. <laughs> yeah. <That's a> <laughs> crazy. So here's a toner marker. What does that do? Oh, so you have to put this one. Yeah, I can't put the book through. But I wonder if I heat it like with an iron. I bet I could heat it with an iron. Let's try that. <laughs> hey, why not? We're only on a live show. It doesn't matter if it doesn't work. <laughs> well, I've got my little got my little quilt iron here. Oh. That should work, right? You know, your your guess is as good as mine. Well, I, I used to use this when I was doing encaustic stuff. Because you can melt your wax with it. Yeah. So I would think it would get hot enough. 
If I turn it up on high, maybe. Right? Yeah. You know me. I'm all about experimenting. So let's do that. Go for it. Plug that. Why does it have two switches? It's got an on and off, high, low. Mm. Strange stuff. Um, because it wanted to. Huh. Oh, I, I don't forgot. know why. I forgot I put this nice bar at the back of my desk to plug stuff into. I am so organized. How, how did I not remember I had this? Yeah, so organized. Ha, 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 ha. You're way more organized than I am, I'll tell you that. I still got to get to it. Ooh. Stick my head in the camera. Whoa. All right. We are plugged in. We are a go. We are lift off. And turn it on. That says off. That says on. I don't know. No light. <laughs> no indicator light. Oh, it's clear up here. The indicator light's up here. The switch is down here. Well, that makes no sense. Oh, there. We have light. We have liftoff. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love the way I fly by the seat of my pants. So I have this, which is like leafing. And then I have the foil. Not sure which I'm going to use. But this mink toner pen. It's $1.79. I had to get it and dry it, right? Of course you did. <laughs> what scared Susan half to death? Okay, I got to find out. <laughs> she has to know. Oh, the drive shaft. Oh, ooh, my goodness. Well, yeah. Got to got to talk to my friends here and find out what's going on. All right. So here's the thing. I think. Does it just come out, or do I have to prime it? Looks like I have to prime it. I don't know. Yeah, gonna have to prime it because it's probably a glue in there. Probably could use just a regular glue marker. We could test that out sometime too, right? Um, you know what I'm talking about, the like two-way glue or something like that. You probably could use yeah. that. Yeah. But how does it react to heat? Oh. Well, I don't know that you would need the heat then. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. I This one takes heat. This toner ink. Oh, it's toner ink. It's not glue. Duh. So it's like the stuff in your... And it's still not coming out. Come on. Come on down. <laughs> I feel There's like nice come on, on down. <laughs> There's no water in this. That's what the problem is. The name of the pen is Mink. M-I-N-C. It's a toner ink marker. And it comes from American Crafts. It's like this. It was from Hobby Lobby. It was in their clearance section for like a dollar seventy-nine. So you know, instead of five bucks, I had to try it, right? If I can ever get the stuff to come down. It was looks like it's made in China. Press down until tip. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, and nothing's coming. Maybe it's dried out. It sounds like it's liquid in there. Hmm. 
just is a long flow. Getting that toner down. Starbucks and Safeway? Huh. We have Starbucks inside of our grocery store. Well, we have it in our, in our like Target and the grow in the grocery store, but well, Safeway is a grocery store, so okay. Well, we don't have Safeway here, so no, oh, okay. It's a grocery store. Yeah. Okay. We have High B, Target, and High B. Yeah, it's coming now because it's turning black. It just takes a long time. Let's see that? You guys see that? It's turning black. Hmm. It takes a long time to migrate that toner down. Oh, I'm glad you guys have something to talk about other than watching my toner change. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Shell. Watch Shell make her cute little page. Sometime this year, folks. Okay. So, what pencil am I going to use that with? What did I do with that leaf one? I think that would be cool. Um, I've got this leaf one. There we go. Finally, we have left off. <laughs> Got some toner out. Okay, so what am I going to do with that? I don't know. What are you going to do with that? I am going to use a stencil and put some toner down. Through the stencil and see if I can get this to work. Sounds like you have a plan. Because I think this would be cool for leafing on your page. All right, there's, you can see the toner. Right? You guys can see the toner. And we'll start with this foil. Maybe. <laughs> if I can get it started. Oh, good grief. Okay, we'll start with... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. We'll start with an exacto knife is what we'll start with. Well, there you go. Just stab it when all else fails. Yeah. This end is stuck down on the foiling. Why do they do stuff like this when they package? Don't they know I'm going to ruin a whole bunch of stuff here? <laughs> Maybe they're hoping you'll ruin it and then you'll have to come back and get another one. All right. Got it started. And I got a piece of foil. Yay! Well, that's a start. And I have a 
tool. It should be getting hot by now, right? So let's see what happens. We'll put that down and heat it. Oh boy. It might be too hot. Because it's melting it. <laughs> it's really melting it. And you saw it here first, folks. How to melt. And stuff. honestly, it didn't even transfer onto the... All right, we're going to go with this other stuff. Well, I think it's because the carrier sheet is melting. So we're going to oh. go with regular foil. I'm going to put regular foil down. And put a piece of paper over it. And we'll try to heat that. Let's see if we can get it to stick. Oh, sticking to all kinds of things. <laughs> Not necessarily where I want it. I'm not sure things are working out so good for you today. Well, you know, it's my playtime. Yeah. And honestly, this may still be okay because I'm getting it to stick to the toner now. And I'm going to grab a little spongy thing. You know, I, I, I don't let these things defeat me. Never. She'll never go down. what I want. One of these sponges like this. Let's see if I can clean it off. It's still kind of cool to have that coppery thing in there, but it didn't didn't do the leaf the way I thought it would. Right? You can just call it abstract foiling. Oh, it definitely is abstract foiling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. I wonder if I do a bigger piece. <laughs> she goes, I wonder if I do a bigger piece, what happens with that? <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to find out. Uh, I think you might. Because you know me. Yep. In for a penny, in for a pound. This will be the... Uh, Okay, do you remember when Peg did that really crazy thing? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got got some stuff going on there, right? I'm going to come back with my leafing over the top of that. And I'm pretty sure that's what it says to do is run it through the machine so if I put this on here and put the heat on there it'd be the same as if putting it in a carrier sheet and running it through the machine seems like it to me oh, 
So we'll see. Still is, oh, well, you know, here again, you probably should have had a drier surface where you went in there to do that. You know, like, let it sit overnight. But I do like, I do like that copper on the page. It's pretty. Copper is always pretty. No matter how you put it on. So I'm going to have to play with that some more. You know, because obviously this carrier sheet is not the way to go with that. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Why not? Let's just do one more little thing, right? <laughs> maybe if I had... Put some more toner down here. Go right off the edge. Okay, so we've got that. And see there's... The carrier sheet, this is where it wrinkled up before. This has not been used, so I'm going to put that right down over the top, just like so. I think that I completely lost the live chat when when whatever happened happened, because it's the last thing I see is 84, I would need a jacket, and I'm sure someone has said something since then. I lost the chat. Um, I don't, I mean, it doesn't matter, but if you are asking me a question or something, then I'm not answering because I don't see it. I don't know. They're talking about embossing powder. Okay, so they're talking about YouTube. Okay, so that did not work as badly. It did not melt the carrier as much. Let's see what happens when I peel it. Yeah, it's still not. It's still okay. Let me tell you, I'm not a fan of the pen. The toner is not doing what I think it should do. I mean, it should, when you heat it, it should transfer that. Right. That's what's supposed to happen. Yeah. So, definitely heated it. It, it did not transfer. So, the pen, not so much. <laughs> not so much the pen. I can turn this off now. So I don't burn myself. But um, you know, I like I like the foil. Maybe it's the difference. Maybe it's that's the difference. That the, the stuff on the carrier sheet. See now I've just put that down with my finger and it's sticking to that tone. So where's my sponge? Here we go. Get my little scruffy sponge. Yeah, see, now I just put that down with my finger after I heated that toner, and it's sticking to it. Crazy, right? That doesn't make sense, but we'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. Okay. Enough of the playing with the foil stuff. All right, going back to 
where we were with this whole page scenario, right? This was our inspiration. These were my colors. This is what's inspired this so far. For this mess that I have out on my table now. Um, and I was thinking about, you know, these leaves that I had here. Two of them. And I've got this quote that I think I will use if I can get it off the carrier sheet. What is it with me and carrier sheets today? <laughs> I don't know. You seem to be having trouble. It's a thing. Just saying, it's a thing. those edges. So you know what I do when I don't like those edges. This is a quote from Browning. It says, oh, the wild joys of living. Oh, yes, the wild joys of living. But I really got to get rid of those square corners because they don't make me happy. They're going away. As much as I can. Put that down. Ice cream for dinner. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Foil, not the pen. Okay, Vicki, I believe you. Definitely wasn't working for me. I'll play with it some more. See what I can get. So these are those, uh, these are just left over from gel printing the other day. I was using these as masks. Are you guys following that whole gel printing thing with Burgett Coopson? We've been doing a lot of gel printing. Oh, yeah. for good measure because we need an odd number. Yeah. There we go. I find my cap. What habits? And then I would like to find my pencil, wherever it went to. Um, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Oh, 
draw by here. So that's what we have, right? I think this might be water soluble. Let's find out why yes it is. Okay. must be about done if I've got out the white Posca pen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just kind of how it works. Well, it's getting close to that time, so... Jamie says, really a fun letter set shell. She has the oh, upper case. That one's an old one from Stampin' Up! called Whimsical Alphabet. Yeah. I used to be a Stampin' Up! Devastator. You know? I don't know if that's still available. You might be able to find it on eBay. Most of the stuff that I have at this, this point is discontinued. But it's okay for me because I don't need it to be continued. <laughs> well, and you know, the way we use a lot of our stuff, you can find more contemporary, more more stuff that's out there on the market currently. You don't have to have the exact same thing. But like she says, you know, eBay, a lot of times people are getting rid of their stash and you can find some of this older stuff. Yeah. Okay, I just made a blob there. Talking and not paying attention. Oh, well. Imagine that. Well, for not knowing where we were headed this morning, I think we've done okay. Yeah, I had no clue this morning what I was doing today. <laughs> Neither one of us did. It's like, what are you going to do? I don't know. What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> going to do something. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to we're gonna pull out a journal and we're going to make something. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, I think this is cute, and I think it's me. It does exactly what I said, which is when I when it's fall, I drink tea. There you go. And it's got the colors of the mood board with the Tiffany blue. I mean, this this print job's terrible. You guys need to look at the real graphic. <laughs> uh, it's got fall leaves. It's got the warm beverage. I'm satisfied with it. Cool. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for what we've done today, I'm, I'm happy with this, too. I, I was experimenting, playing around with stuff that, you know, I haven't had out. So that's always fun. But, you know, we've got we've got beads in here. So it's got a little sparkle from that. Uh, we've got the textural dimension with the textural paste. We've got the leafing on there lots of layers with the stenciling underneath so and yeah there's my there's my mood board with all the colors and that's it for me yeah so i think we're pretty good so thanks guys i hope you enjoyed this i hope you uh get your stuff out and follow some kind of inspiration whether it's the mood board or whatever you want to do
And uh, we'll see you again next week with something different. Yep. Bye-bye. Thanks Bye, for guys. coming. Guys.